check out this digital infrared temp gun that I'm going to come up with a bunch of uses for. This thing is just, I mean, so rad here for getting an actual sense of the heat in an area. And where I intend to really use this in the motorcycle shop is especially on exhaust systems. And so when I get done, I just couldn't wait to not release this video anymore. They're one of our first two companies that are partnering up with us on our new website and a YouTube channel called Tools to Wrench. <laughs> Sounds familiar, right? That's going to be the sister channel really to review so many more different kinds of tools that aren't only motorcycle based, but especially for home, do it yourself stuff. You know, we do a lot of building and fabrication. One of my favorite things to do in life anymore is build tools and make things. Like, for example, hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. Enjoy the video. The soda blaster that I'm just finishing up that I just put on steroids for all the modifications I did. This thing's going to be cool. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do is have this dedicated channel that can be focused on tools. And our friends over here at Kayatweets, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, sent us this to test out. And this thing is super rad and even how it's packaged. It comes with a case, cables, a charger, of course. I love the little accessory bag, but a nice heavy-duty case for this. But, you know, when you deal with these companies that have, like, these professional packaging, look at this box here. I mean, this thing is just, it's pretty wild. I've even sent them some requests to say this thing has way more features than I'm at all familiar with. So I've still got to learn about the tool. That's why this is more of a, a introduction video. But you can toggle here through different types of viewings. That once again I need to learn but what I do know is how the infrared works and this is where it's gonna be super cool to be able to hit these different exhaust pipes and see how the condition of the bike is running compared to the carb job that I did right another way that I've used the old-school traditional temp guns in the past on diagnosing motorcycles I'll see if I can find that video it might be so old that I might just have the experience or not a video but I'll never forget where I found the biggest use of a temp gun ever was back teaching at the college in 2007 on a GSX-R1000 where ultimately we diagnosed an ignition problem that kept blowing fuses to a, to a CDI over a heat issue in the harness. And the only thing is I got lucky and I was leaning my hand on the harness and ended up going, oh my God, that's so hot. And then we grabbed a temp gun and went, holy cow, you know, that with a bike not running in a room that was 70 degrees, as soon as you turn the key switch on, there was a spot in the harness that was jumping to 140 degrees and then popping a fuse. Well, we used the temp gun to kind of go back along the chassis and then find out where that hot spot was. I cannot imagine the first day I'm going to get to use this with the infrared screen to where it will literally change colors to show me that hot spot you know even though we had and just to be apples to apples what i'm talking about if i go to my measuring drawer here i was using one of these okay little pro tip here too it's always a good idea to take the batteries out if you're not using them every day so that you aren't gonna have a problem i mean this thing i've had forever and then got into one of these just because it went 250 degrees hotter i'll put all the spec this thing will do but once again, I'm taking, you know, this traditional one and running along. And if you've ever used one of those, it's taking a collection of a, of a pretty large area and it doesn't allow you to really to micro focus. So on that harness, we had to cut a lot of the harness back to expose the area. Huh, with this? It's going to allow you to pinpoint within a pretty small little area to go, I'd want to open that harness from like here to here. So let's take a look at what's super cool. Yes, there's an SD card on this that you could pull out, pop it in a computer, do whatever you want with the in images. In the event of a motorcycle shop, you could send that to your customer, pop a little text message. Hey, tune in your motorcycle, cylinder one's running really hot, I think it's lean. How, how rad is that? And then for you yourself, just to give you that info. But check out what you could do here. Let's just say that I was taking a photo of this. Hit OK. I'm going to pull the trigger. Okay. 96 degrees. Blah, blah. Let's take a photo of that. How cool would it be to check charging systems, regulator rectifiers, 
you know, find out what's nominal. You could start doing temperature readings of stuff when everything's normal and then have some baseline or birth certificate, if you will, on what does it look like, you know, at a different point where you're trying to diagnose something. Say you had a regular rectifier that nominally ran 105 degrees or something. I'm making up a number. And then all of a sudden your charging system's not working. You go to the reg rec and it's run 200. Boom. You've got something to compare against. But let's go back. We took that photo and then how do we access it? Do we got to pull it out and put it on the computer? Nope. You can actually view it right here. So there's our gallery. I'm going to hit OK again. So open the gallery. It's going to say review or delete all. Here's how you toggle back and forth just with the arrow keys here. Make sure I'm on the right one. Review, yep. And then what I could do is start to toggle through these different photos that I took. There was that one of me. Looks like I'm pretty hot. I don't hear that much, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to this photo. So this is the one where I'm like, oh, I wanted to check it out. Look, all the information's there, okay? I believe everything on here, too, will be able to, well, of course, so the file will be able to date and timestamp it as well. But you could see here... And if you go on the settings, obviously you could change the Celsius or Fahrenheit, whatever country you're in, what you use is going to be great. But that's a way that you could go and start to access some of this information like instantly. And think about this too. Okay, I'm dealing with a customer. I want to give them some information. I don't want to pop the card out and go through all that. I could take this, grab that photo quick. I got my phone in my hand. I could snap a picture of it this way. And then, boom, drop it to a text message. I mean, it's just unbelievable if you think through how you can grab proof, document it, and then get it where it needs to go. Whether that's a customer, whether it's your own personal self. Maybe you got a little file on Google Drive if you haven't seen some of our other videos, how we talk about doing birth certificates and putting that information into a file on your own vehicles to catalog different specifications that aren't in a manual. Maybe you do a resistance check on something and go, oh, that was never in the manual, but here's what it is good. And you could keep a record of that. Now you could start to add these, you know, screenshots of temperatures of things like your exhaust temperatures at idle between the four cylinders. You could do the charging system like we talked about. I'm probably going to think of more uses of this as I go along that I'm not even remotely considering about. But yeah, that is how you do that. And then to go back to the regular screens, you'd see this back arrow here. I'll just toggle back, get back to a homepage here. Now you can see it's moving around. So you know you're back to the live uh, feature of this. Super, super cool. All right, let me go into the settings real quick. So here's a bunch of stuff I'm still going to learn about. Okay, there's where you turn that laser on or off. Okay. And then I'm going to go back up and turn the center point back on. I think I might have turned it off. I think that gives you like crosshairs. Okay, got those two. Okay, now I'm going to back out of here. Yeah, there's the, the center point right there. So check this out. You know, I'm doing an infrared image, but let's say you were kind of getting confused at what you were looking at. What you could do is toggle down here, and there is a VL setting. Now you're still going to get temperature in here. Notice the top it says 86 degrees. So if I go and I wanted to point at, pretend this was a hot running bike, and I've got my crosshairs on there. I don't know if you could see it there. Got my crosshairs, and I got my laser pointer now. Okay, so that just took a photo for me and put it in my photo catalog with the temperature. No, that's wild. Okay, there's that photo I took. I'm telling you, so much to learn about this. There's that. If you hit OK, visual. Now, wait a second here. Let's do this. Let's look at different images I took. So let me go back to there. Okay, visual. Wow, that's wild. It it just automatically saves both of them. So in case you're confused what you're looking at, you can just do that and go, oh, that that's what I'm looking at. Wow, that's wild. Cool, I'm back to live here. Obviously, I think what most of us are going to use this for is the infrared where we're measuring temperatures of something, right? 
So you can see there all the heat coming in on the edge of the door. Okay, if that seal's not that great. Woo, there's a lot of heat coming through that concrete. Look at that. 90 degrees, got a temp there real quick. And when I do the door, 85, five degrees hotter coming at the bottom of that door. Interesting. Well, friends, like I said, I'm going to do some more detailed videos and, and keep learning about this tool and all the features and functions. And the first project I'm going to use it on is going to be the VFR on the carb tuning once I get her together. Carbs are going back together today. Pretty excited to make some progress on this project, but I'll put some links below to these guys. They've got a discount uh, coupon for fans. If you go ahead and watch their videos and their research and find out, hey, this is something I have to have today. I don't even need the rest of Shane's video. That link and discount will be available for you. Man, I have wanted one of these forever and they were just way out of our price range. These were $1,000 when they were first coming out and then they started bouncing at 700. I think this this one's a few hundred and you're paying 80 to 100 for just a regular one that doesn't have all these features once again thanks for uh being a sponsor of the tools to wrench channel and all our how to wrench fans if you haven't done so yeah i'll put a link to that hop on over to that channel that's gonna be specifically tool focused really looking forward to grow another channel and hopefully get over that 100k club as always my friends like share subscribe make it a great day and keep wrenching mm -hmm.